The Lariat Loop Scenic and Historic Byway is a 40-mile scenic trip through the foothills, 20 miles west of Denver, complete with natural splendors, historic treasures, recreation pleasures, and geologic wonders. You can do it in an hour, half a day, or spend the full day. We begin at one of Colorado's most historic outdoor museums, Dinosaur Ridge. There are dinosaur footprints, bones, and fossils of prehistoric insects or plants etched by nature on the Hogback Ridge. This was once a beach on a vast inland sea, and dinosaurs migrated along its edge, leaving footprints in the sand. Next stop is Red Rocks Park, located near the historic town of Morrison. Gradual earth movement raised the great sandstone ledges from the prehistoric ocean floor to form the walls of the amphitheater named Shiprock and Creation Rock. It has provided acoustic perfection for musical performers in a magical setting with the panoramic view of Denver for more than 100 years. The tiny town of Morrison is a nationally recognized historic district with unique shops and restaurants. Be sure to visit the Morrison Natural History Museum just south of town. At this museum we have a research grade touchable cast of T-Rex. This is the only skull of T-Rex in Colorado that you can pet and get inside of. You'll enjoy your trip west through Bear Creek Canyon. This extraordinary scenic waterway has been preserved by Denver and Jefferson County from Morrison to Kitteridge and continues to be favored by fishermen, bicyclists, and tourists. Evergreen was a logging and ranching community in the 1860s. The area grew from a quaint mountain hamlet in the 1950s to a bustling mountain suburb of 25,000 people by the 1990s. The infamous Little Bear Saloon building in the middle of town was originally an Episcopal church. High Wan Homestead Museum is a 17-room historic lodge built from the 1890s through the 1930s. As a local history museum, it maintains active craft and interpretive school programs as well as changing exhibitions. Evergreen Lake is one of Evergreen's most charming landmarks. After the dam was built in 1926, fishermen, canoers, ice skaters, and walkers have flocked to the lake. The Evergreen Lake House, built by the local recreation district, is a popular event center. As you drive north on Evergreen Parkway, you see hundreds of acres of pristine land preserved by Jefferson County open space. Elk Meadow Park is a great place to run, hike, or bike on 12 miles of trail. As you begin driving east toward Denver on I-70, you discover 2,500-acre Genesee Park on both sides of the highway, and the bison herd are often available to view at exit 254. The bridge crossing I-70 provides a famous view of the Continental Divide. You can also see the sculptured house from Woody Allen's movie Sleeper, south of I-70 near Genesee Park. On your way toward Golden, stop at Mother Cabrini Shrine to climb the 373 steps that overlook I-70 and the Eastern Plains. Lookout Mountain Nature Center is an 8,000 square foot log building constructed with renewable and recyclable materials. Excellent exhibits intrigue visitors of all ages and naturalists conduct seminars. Ponderosa pine forest ecology is pretty unique in that there are species that only live here and rely upon ponderosa like the Ebert squirrel. Next door to the Nature Center is the historic Betcher Mansion, designed with American arts and crafts style on Lookout Mountain. It was built in 1917 for seasonal hunting, summer getaways, and a place to entertain international guests. 
Buffalo Bill's grave and museum within Lookout Mountain Park offers excellent exhibits about his life and times. In contrast to his image and stereotype as a rough-hewn outdoorsman, Buffalo Bill pushed for the rights of American Indians and women. Lariat Trail The extraordinary scenic drive drops down 2,000 feet to Golden from Lookout Mountain Park. The 4.6-mile switchback road was completed in 1914 by self-taught engineer Cement Bill Williams. Today, the highway is appreciated by hikers, runners, cyclists, hang gliders, and engineers from around the world. Golden was the first territorial capital of Colorado in 1860, and today's citizens have worked hard to preserve their heritage. You can simply drive through the quaint town, enjoy a two-hour vacation, or spend the entire day there. Foothills Art Center offers wonderful exhibits. You can explore history at the Golden Pioneer Museum and Clear Creek History Park. You can walk the historic campus of Colorado School of Mines and stop at the Mines Geology Museum. Many visitors stop at Coors Brewing. Everyone enjoys walking along the Clear Creek Trail. Exciting places to consider near the Lariat Loop are the Colorado Railroad Museum and the National Renewable Energy Laboratory east of Golden. For details, browse www.lariatloop.org.